Resonator guitar. It's called a dobro. And right now I'm calling on the nerds. <laughs> Are there nerds out there? Is there a nerd? No nerds? <laughs> I'm such a nerd. It's the reason I play this thing. I'm a nerd. Everybody here is cool, right? No, no nerds. You got one. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. But I'm like. I was like nerd number one, back of the class, never raised his hand, like you all just didn't. <laughs> right? So it was like a total, so to talk about the instrument, it's like why you play it. So um, I'm lucky that uh, in my family, uh, my dad's family goes all the way back to Kentucky, all the way back to the people that settled it um, in Appalachian and um, the music, he was into was the banjo. He played the banjo, a different kind of banjo. But he saw he played banjo. And um, when I want, I saw this on a TV show, and uh, I wanted this thing, and he said no. And of course, you know that makes you want it more, right? <laughs> Can I have it? No. Can I have it? No. It's like how many times do I have to say that I want this thing? But um, it's it's the most modern of all these instruments because. It was invented to make the guitar kind of louder. It's like a little speaker in here. It's not electric, but before there was electric guitars, you know, um, there's a speaker in here. And it kind of uh, helps the sound move out a little bit. It doesn't get caught in the guitar. It's in the speaker and it sort of reflects. I guess that's a good way to say it, but that's how it works. And then you slide it with a bar. And dude, you raise your hand, come in. <laughs> you got it. You get to demonstrate it. Come here. Yeah. All right. Come on over here. So that's the deal, yo. Right? I want you to grab it there. Grab the bar. All right. Strum it with this hand. Slide it up. You rock. There you go. <laughs> you can do that all day. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Did this music come from New Orleans? Mm, no, it has been influenced by it. Of One of the places, a good question, because, right, like we all have mommies and daddies, and uh, music, any kind of style of music kind of has that too. So, fiddle comes from, uh, you know, fiddle music is part of the mommy and daddy of bluegrass music. <laughs> That's excellent. Before there was bluegrass music, there was people playing fiddles, and if you lived way back in the mountains, up in the woods, it'd be hard to get all these instruments in your kitchen. They just wouldn't fit, and you wouldn't want to carry that all the way up the highway, all you know, ten miles across the valley to the party. So you know, you could just tuck this under your arm and walk all the way up the creek to your cousin's cabin, move all the stuff out of the kitchen, and have a dance. You could dance. That's the good thing about the fiddle, you can dance to it all by itself. Right? And the banjo was around then too, and fiddle and banjo used to play together an awful lot. And sometimes it would sound like this, you might have a party in your kitchen with nothing but fiddle and banjo. But we're going to show you how that sounds, and then the rest of the band will come in and play. Okay, so 
so one thing we didn't talk about, we talked about all the instruments, but we've been singing a few songs too. And, and one thing about bluegrass is a lot of these songs, they're singing about love. But it's not happy love. <laughs> it's really, it's really sad, depressing love. The song that Eric sang was "Blue Moon of Kentucky, Shine on the One That's Been Untrue." I mean, come on, that's, that's not happy. And then you have the song that I sang, "The Walls of Time." It's about some guy singing to his girlfriend that he wants her to join him when he dies. She wants him to join him in, in his grave. And so this song is called, this song is called Love, Please Come Home. <laughs>